Hello, I hope you can hear me. It's gonna be a short part of this video. Like at the beginning, I'm gonna just show the settings really fast. Um, I'm using Adobe Vision Filmmaker mode and uh, because it looks better than Game Optimizer to my eyes. Uh, I'm gonna talk about more um, why I'm using Dolby Vision instead of HDR10, um, but it's got it's not gonna be on the phone because I don't I don't think the microphone here is good. Um, I can show you some stuff though, like for advanced settings. I'm using what um, HD. Let me think. Uh, HD TV. Um, um, I forgot the name. HD TV something. Uses. Uh, I think everything's the same. I didn't change anything. Near black detail is new. Like it came out like two months ago. It's still on zero. It looks okay. Um, I still don't know if you, if I need to use minus one or zero. Uh, clarity. Um, uh, sharpness should be zero because hell nah. Uh, we don't need extra sharpness. Um. Uh, that's it with the picture mode. The only things you have to change for gaming is uh in here like f first of all i'm for all that care i got everything off uh personally i don't care what happens here so i got it off and you normally get higher brightness just a bit um so that's why it's off um if you don't know how to use your oled monitor or it's your first time using it then i don't really recommend it but yeah for me i don't really mind it i had a c2 for two three years something like that so it should be fine and in game optimizer uh you have to press it for the first time it comes up and you say yeah get the game optimizer on it's like on top um then you go below uh you turn on vsync g-sync a uh, free sync you don't need to turn on free sync if you got uh, nvidia i i don't know why i got it on it, it's not going to work anyway but uh quick frame transport it seems like it's good so it should be on 165 hertz uh all uh, a l l m uh this is really important i think and uh that's it you are basically done and you can use the um, filmmaker mode if you're using hdr 10 uh filmmaker mode uh, you still need to do the same thing with the game optimizer you still need to turn it on and uh, that's it on this part uh, i'm gonna change to the windows now hello hello okay it's gonna be fast hopefully first of all in this it's three things three things first of all um we got uh, what do we have we got dolby vision how can you use dolby vision why are we using dolby vision let me just explain uh, really fast why i'm using dolby vision because i was getting banding with hdr10 hdr10 game optimizer picture mode if you open this app you see it really easily I don't see it right now. Uh, you get banding here with HDR10 uh, HDR10 game optimizer. With HDR10 filmmaker mode, it looks much better. If you are going to use HDR10, use that HDR10 filmmaker mode picture mode. That's it. You press on it once. It say it gets saved. You don't need to change it anyway. Uh, again, again, and it looks much better than HDR10 game optimizer. What I'm using right now is Dolby Vision. Uh, filmmaker mode it looks a bit cleaner and I'm still using it for three four months because uh, HDR 10 was fucking broken on this TV uh, it looks fixed now but I'm still sticking to Dolby Vision basically what happens is you are uh, playing HDR 10 games in uh, in a in a Dolby Vision layer if I'm not mistaken and this is correct and uh, to use Dolby Vision uh, you have to download Dolby Access. If you don't see it, uh, that's probably because you haven't turned it on in your mon uh, in your monitor. And I, yeah, I actually fucking forgot to tell you that. Okay, at beginning of the video, hopefully, at beginning of the video, you see uh, the general settings where I press on Game Optimizer, like Game Options to open them up, not Picture Mode, Game Optimizer in general settings. On that same page, like general settings, below, uh, at the bottom, it says external devices. You have to click on that. You see HDMI devices. You have to click on that. Then uh, you have to turn on Dolby Vision for PC. Don't forget, 
color uh, the color stuff should be uh, on 4k too like it says color something something you press on that you see another menu again sub menu it says off or 4k you press on 4k to get the highest bandwidth uh, like the full bandwidth bandwidth of your HDMI port uh, and that's it you just come back you install Dolby Access you uh, come to Dolby Vision press on dark Dark is the most correct one, just use that. Um, does it matter that much for us if you use something else? Probably not because we are playing HDR10 videos anyway, or games. Like, it's it's only playing in the Dolby Vision layer. It's like Apple TV when you force Dolby Vision. At least, at least what I think about it. And that's it. Basically, we're done here. For Dolby Vision, I'm using 8-bit. Um, I'm forcing 8-bit. Uh, RGB full, it's still the same. I have been using it for years, so it's gonna say, uh, stay like this. You can use 444 if you want. I don't see the difference, honestly. I, yeah, just I'm, I'm just using RGB full and I'm working on it, so... I mean, really working on my, my with my monitor, so I don't mind it and 8-bit we are using 8-bit because uh, to, to make the Dolby Vision work with 165 hertz uh, it had uh, problems with DSC uh, at the beginning I felt okay 8-bit isn't that bad we need more color depth for HDR basically what happens here with only Dolby Vision not HDR uh, is Dolby Vision is sending metadata HDR metadata um, that are 12, 14 or 16 I think 12 bits as 8 bits as 8 bits uh, like in groups probably uh, and uh, it's called 8 bit tunneling uh, it looks better you than uh, HDR 10 filmmaker more it just looks clean to my eyes uh, you come here 8 bit then press apply I press on cancel because I think I have changed something I don't know what anyway that's it you're done with that uh, for Windows, I'm using Windows 11. Uh, you technically shouldn't change anything here. Maybe turn this to on. Uh, use the Dolby Vision mod and uh, the third one. That's it. Auto HDR, you don't need that shit. That's, that's trash. Just use uh, just use uh, Reno DX, uh, like Reno DX. Uh, it's uh, it got a great Discord. They are really helpful and uh, you can ask how to install the monster um, it's not that hard honestly and the only thing that you can change uh, is color profile how can you do it you go to the calibration let's see HDR calibration and the only thing that you have to do is to do put the zero come here 2050 because over uh, this is like 2000 nits right now and over t uh, 2000 nits uh, after 2000 you get 10 steps every time. What does the 10 steps mean? From here on out, the 10 steps actually mean 100 nits. Like these 100 nits at the beginning. So 2050 is 2500 nits. In HDR10, uh, you just use 2050, 2050 again and save it. You get this. Uh, the name is what I called it, doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. And uh, compared to HDR10, you actually get 2,450 nits here. Actual 2,450 nits. If you have a device to uh, see how how bright your uh, monitor is. For HDR10, like HDR10 filmmaker mode or game optimizer, it doesn't matter. They both only get give you 2,050 nits. So basically, you get 400 nits more here, uh, which is nice. Which is nice. And uh, basically, that's it. Um, oh, the third thing, the third thing for working, I'm not using SDR anymore. Uh, they were still too bright for me. Um, what do I mean by bright? If I'm working, I want it to be really dark. My room is already dark, so I want the things uh, when I'm coding, I want my stuff to be dark. Uh, for me, it was still bright as even a uh, zero percent brightness. That's why I'm using Dolby Vision still. I'm not changing anything. I'm just what I the only thing I do is change the backlight from 100% to 
8 to 30 if it's at night 20 20 percent 30 percent you can change it with the um, TV controller it doesn't matter for gaming 100 percent you need those highlights to pop and basically that's it that was it and I highly recommend you to uh, play some games like Final Fantasy got a Final Fantasy 15 I didn't know the game is fun it's actually fucking fun and the HDR mod is amazing I highly recommend it and I hope okay it was 8 minutes sorry for that but I hope it stays like this and have a good day